Grown men date young girls to avoid that grown woman pressure. See, every man want to believe that he's an alpha man until it's time to do what alpha men do, like provide, protect, produce. So when that grown woman put pressure on that wannabe alpha man, who's usually a weak man, he runs to a weaker woman. The woman that he can control her mind. The woman that self-esteem is low. The woman he can manipulate, use, and abuse. Yes, that woman. See, ladies, you could be too much for a man. You could be too independent. You could be too accomplished. You could be too established. You could be too confident that you have to send that man back to the basic women that they're comfortable with. And when you finally let that man go, you will realize that he had absolutely nothing to offer from day one, only lies and disappointments, which means that you had everything he wanted. He had nothing. Ladies, be smart, date smart, choose wisely. And remember, I told you. Whoever came up with this shit that your 40s or your new 20s, dead ass wrong. When I was in my 20s, I was engaged, having babies, getting married. I had a house. I had goals. I had a plan for my life. I'm 41. I've been divorced, single for years, can't keep a guy more than two, three weeks max. I have more money than sense, drink like a fish, and half the time, I don't even know what fucking day of the week it is. Okay, so I think I figured out why men like dating younger women or like dating children. What the hell are you talking about? Or, yeah, you know what I mean by that. First of all, I'm just going to first talk about the guys that just like dating younger women, not necessarily like little kids, but it's still like fucked up. So let's say they're like 40 or 50 and they're dating a 20 year old. Some of you may feel like, oh, that's not a big deal, but I personally think it's um, disgusting and fucked up. And I realize that a lot of those men, they're like heavy drinkers and they started drinking heavy in their 20s, around their 20s. And that's like the age group that they go for. Alcohol and drugs stunt your mental growth. Like if you are constantly drunk and high on alcohol, coke, whatever, your mental age is going to be stuck at that age that the age was when you started doing all these drugs because your mental age gets stunted so then it makes sense why they go for younger girls because they're stuck mentally at the age of 20 and now on to men that date date children i was high when i realized this and i feel like when i'm high i can get inside the mind of like anyone and understand them like i have like true empathy and not in like a way where oh i feel sorry in a way that like i can understand why they're like that okay so when i was high one time i don't know i think i was watching something about people that date little kids and i realized from like different documentaries and stuff that those people usually have some sort of sexual trauma like they had it done to them so say like they had it done to them when they were like six and then they grow up to be they go for the people that are that age because they're mentally that age am i the only one mind blown by this like, like the reason they go for kids that age is because they were traumatized at that age either like trauma from drugs or trauma from like another person they're mentally that age I hope this made sense, but it blew my mind. I find it curious that women get so upset about the biological fact that most men prefer women in their younger years, mainly due to fertility, low body count, and just general attraction. And I knew countless women at the age of 19, 20, who dated 30, 35 plus men while they were young, and then all of a sudden they get to be 30, 35, and now all of a sudden they disagree with it saying it's creepy. I find that it's more just an insecurity factor and the fact that they are no longer that young and now they see those women as competition, which is sad because in reality, most of my videos are really to teach younger women to choose better in their 20s. If you are in your 30s and still single, that is no reason to hate on the younger generation or hate on the men that prefer them and by calling them creepy or even words that I'm not even going to use here. Innately, I have always known this. My husband is seven plus years older than me and I did that for a reason. And he did that for a reason. At the age of 37 when we met, he knew he wanted a family. He's not going to go find another 37 year old hoping by the grace of God or with fertility treatments that they could have a baby. I'm not hating on women. We just need to understand both sides. Men have every right to choose their preferences just as women do. For example, nobody wants to date a short broke man.
convinced that the more educated you get, the harder it is to date. And this is why. I have a lot of high standards for myself, for myself mentally, emotionally, financially, which is why I decided to go into the career that I'm going into. And because of that, I have high expectations for the person I date, meaning I want them to have similar goals and ambition as I do. Unfortunately, there are not that many men who have that similar ambition or similar goal. And especially in Las Vegas, like Las Vegas, it is just so hard to date here. It's absolutely ridiculous. Hey, TikTok family. So I haven't posted in a really long time because um, the person I was posting with was uh, my boyfriend up until recently. Uh, Today is the day he's coming over this morning to get some things from my house. Um, One of them being a vehicle. So he has to come here to get that. Um, you know, I just wanted to get real with y'all like two and a half years, like two years and eight months we were dating. And I thought, you know, this was it. Um, I was widowed five and a half years ago and we really took our time with this relationship. And, you know, those red flags you see in the beginning, you really need to pay attention to them. And, and these weren't huge red flags. They were very subtle red flags, but I've come to realize that he really doesn't know how to love. And even though it felt like he did, um, when you're in a committed relationship and you're talking about the future and then all of a sudden your romantic feelings just kind of fizzle out temporarily, you don't quit. You don't give up. Not if you really love each other. And that's what he did. He just gave up. He quit. Um, so sorry, my hand's shaking because I'm nervous. He's going to be here in a little bit. Um, You know, this dating after 50 thing is extremely hard, especially when you're a Christian woman that has high morals and values and you don't want to just jump into bed with people. (laughs) So I'm just sharing if there are other women out there like me that feel like it's just really, really hard to put yourself out there again. I mean, I was widowed after 31 years of marriage and then I gave two and a half years to this man. And now it's like, I don't even want to bother. This is just it's just hard. Um, I don't know. Do I have any sisters out there or even some men that are feeling the same way about dating after 50 and trying to find that person that you click with and want to spend the rest of your life with? Because I don't want to just date for the sake of dating. I want to be in a relationship. I want a companion. What do you all think? It's too late for that.